Welcome back to another episode of Irumakun. Quick recap before going to today's reaction. What happened last time? We had familiar training. Well, we have a new teacher. He's like a green haired dude. And I was thinking about why are they introducing somebody so late? Usually you have like a sub, not, not substitute teachers, like a exchange students, right? Or like students that just happen to transfer in later into the term. And they're usually really important in these kind of like shonen series or just kind of rom com in general. It's a teacher instead. I think that there might be no other... Uh, there, there, it, it's like he's here because Karego is Iruma's familiar. If they're in a teaching environment, they're in a class, and Karego gets someone who's going to be teaching. So I think that's why the green-haired dude is here. He seems to be very positive, kind, always looking at the good things. Especially when Clara's familiar is making Clara do fetch, which is probably one of the funniest things that happened in the episode. The other funniest part is probably Karego doing frisbee catch we throw it and Karago just reluctantly everybody's watching right it's so demeaning for Karago to do it because he's a fucking elite professor here right he is like the top dog in terms of teachers I think he even wrote the textbook of rules of like the uh, Babylon's like uh core philosophies and teaching right and he has to follow through it's so embarrassing but he does it he's such a cute form and he just slowly walks slowly walks picks it up and he's like here it is it's probably one of the funniest running gags in this show. Making Karego be Iruma's familiar is one of the best things I've ever seen because of Karego's nature too, right? He's the last person you would you would think would be like a familiar underneath Iruma. Plus, he's so cute looking. Why is he cute looking? Familiars apparently take on a shape according to their masters, their personality. Plus, I'm not sure what else. But that's why he's so cute right now. But that means maybe... You know, Karego's cute form will change if Irma also develops over the episodes. I'm not sure how long it's going to take him for. Because, like, right now, it's been established that he's just, like, a pushover, right? He's just kind of always doing things because other people ask him for help. But also, he has no goals or ambitions for himself. But he's slowly realizing that. And this all uh, leads nicely into Irma's next goal. What's he going to do? Well, we got to rank out more. How do you rank out more? We got... What was this called? Uh, rookie hunt. We have different clubs. It's not actually called clubs, but it's pretty much a club, right? And we're going to join clubs and there are going to be different opportunities to rank up. And I think this should be the beginning of one of the first serious arcs in this show. Or at least that's what you guys told me in the comments. I don't really know. Let's start today's episode. Other battlers. So be courteous. <laughs> Who's that guy with the big ass backpack? What the fuck? I guess he's going to recruit Unima maybe because I don't know. He kind of stands out right now. Alright, go hard. It's time for crush. Wait, 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 wait. We're supposed to recruit them nicely, right? And then as has put Iruma on like a nice little fancy pillow chair. Sit on this. You look nice on this. Okay, as has. There he is. Everybody wants him, right? Obviously. He's probably like he's prime candidate. Please join our battler. Mm -hmm. I don't have time for you. You get out of here. If you guys can't handle my fire. You can't handle me. He's ass ass. Too low tier of battler clubs. Bye bye. I wonder who Claire's gonna get picked up by, but. Hmm? What is it? Amiri? Oh. She's coming? She, what, what part is she? She would be. She, wouldn't she be looking for Iruma? So they're their own, like. Club too, right? Yeah, right? That makes sense. Lady red hair. Everybody knows about Amity, right? I want Amity to acknowledge Iruma in public right this. He, had, uh, he doesn't know, right? He doesn't know that she's a president stu uh, student council president. We skipped all that. Because we were just <laughs> too busy reading shoujo manga to her, but... I want Amity to acknowledge Iruma and then everybody's like, What? Iruma knows Amity like that? You know? She's so tall. Oh my god. In a very good way. In a very good way. Uh, th thank you. <laughs> Wait. So, I'm probably getting this mixed up then. They're not the club. You're just like calming things down here. Uh, Battler is different subset of... Even though Student Council is its own faction. I I I'm confused. I don't know. M maybe, they're a maybe they got their own club too. What's up? Shh, not so loudly. Yes. You just realize how important of a person she is. Oh, he releases the flame for her. 
Look at the way that she looks at Iruma with such a blush. Oh my god, she's so tall though. It's like she's double the height of Iruma, honestly. Come join us. J join the student council. <laughs> um, just to, just to join the student council. Yeah, yeah, we need you. Not Azaz though. Iruma specifically. Oh? Yeah? Oh, okay. Everybody's watching this though, right? That's the most important part. Not you. Wait. Uh, is he? He's just accepting it on behalf of Iruma, right? I just... <laughs> She's so nervous about it. She's so shy about it. Everyone's like, what the fuck just happened? Did she actually... No, 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 no. Asmodeus accepted the invite on behalf of Iruma, right? No, no, no. It's for Iruma. This is basically first day of... Nah. Flowers, I don't, I don't got time for you. Is he really not going to accept anything? Or is he just waiting for the right person? A lot of flyers. We gotta take Amiri's flower. You only need one. Yeah, you can't say no. Right? You can't say no. <laughs> I'll just burn that shit up for you. You don't need it. You get rid of it. We only have the exact. We already have the one. We hello. Yeah, there's a seduction battler. I wonder what uh Clara's uh, sexy scope is now. Oh. No, she hasn't. She's gonna make Eden fall head over heels. So I guess Claire's gonna go in a different direction then, huh? Well, yes, but no. But yes, we do get bailed out by, you know, Gramps a lot. But the ring? Huh? What's the ring doing? I've never seen the ring behave this way. Something is calling. The, the ring is moving. N never seen the ring act this way. Eiko! The one that Iruma said. Of course. Her eyes, Jesus. There she is. Oh, you missed him. Who is leading to? The backpack guy in the beginning scene. What's that hoarding a bunch of shit? Magical apparatus battler. I guess that's what we're joining, maybe? But what about Amity's? The fuck? I mean, this is probably interesting in itself. He has a ring too. The, the, the ring was the King Solomon's rings. It's probably what... You knocked into him so hard, he's bleeding out the mouth, but... He had a ring too, right? Probably not the same like gluttonous feeder ring, but it's one of the rings part of like the Solomon series. Therefore, they all attract each other. Show us the other hand. <laughs> okay, the sick kind of doctor type stereotype. But the ring, where'd you get that from? Wait, did I re did I see that wrong? Oh, okay, never mind. I thought he had a ring on his hand too. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It's from the same metal though. So, it's not just about rings, it's about the material that it's from. So, there could be a gluttonous feeder ring, there could be a magic necklace, there could be a magic, I don't know, other stuff made of the same metal. Upperclassman. Oh. I don't know what. Oh, it's the same rank as Irma. <laughs> they really just shit on people that's a lower rank then, huh? I mean, we saw it on the previous episode too about how, like, you know, the girl squad kind of just pushed Irma aside, thinking, oh, you're only like a uh, rank one, but. Hmm. Even an upperclassman just got shoved down. Just store up some. I feel like you're a monster, and then that r necklace is just. What a good guy. Actually, Edom is perfect for this because, you know, he needs a <laughs> piece of time that doesn't have magic, but... Whoa, 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 explain about your necklace. And maybe he does have a shitload of magic, but the necklace is just on him to suppress how OP he is. I don't know. Saburo! A demon... <laughs> does such a thing exist? Are you making this shit up or... He's like dojo hunting. What are you doing, dude? Uh, uh it's, yeah, it's... You gotta study. This is so not like Sabro, but is this actually called a Demon King Battler? Uh, uh, they study. Actually, this might relate to documents on Demon King, like what his dad showed him, right? The Demon Prophecy Scroll that we learned about the the gluttonous feeder ring from, right? So is he gonna get valuable information more from this, or? Yeah, I'm okay. Wouldn't expect, you know, a guy like Sabro to. I mean, he did intently read the scrolls with his dad, I guess, but... He's one of us, comrade, comrade. 
He, suit, he fits right in. All right. Black Magic Battler. Clara? <laughs> Clara, you're ruining the ceremony, but you look cute as usual. Oh. She fit in. She fits in. A fool or a genie? Wait, I thought Clara was joining this one to, you know, make Yiruma fall head over heels. I want to go. Uh, yeah, it's, you might take a Clara a couple of extra years to awaken that, that, that part of her, but what is this? The lady studies. So he's founded one. He's founded in the lady because it didn't exist. He fucking created it. I respect the hustle. I respect Three level? Tuning? Didn't the ring also seem like more carved after Gramps touched it? Okay. Rafaya Libero! Libero. What is this one? Gramps, what are you gonna make us do? Uh, okay, if, if you say so. It's in your house anyway. Oh? Black purple? Flames? Weakest tr Oh! We have different gear? Ah, oh, that's what the Grams put on. Okay. Ifritu mode. And then? And, and then what's uh what's the next one? There's one more notch after that. Wait, 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 wait. Wasn't there one more notch after that? I swear to God, I saw four different gears. Okay, well, I guess we have to. What does that do, Gramps? Do we want to use that right? Oh! Okay, so we're... That's the last one! That's the last one! That's the last gear! Pandorula. Extra special move. All of Gramps' move. It's like secret... Okay. So I thought Libero... I thought Libero might be the, um... Get out of jail free card later on in like a serious arc. We need to bail out and we just have to use it. We have one more. I never thought about it. You're joining Amity's club, right? Time for a date? Yeah, she's waiting, man. Oh, she's... Oh, she's... He's making her wait. Yes. Huh? Who's crying? Oh, is this the same guy again? Magical Apparatus Ballad. Amy Kitty Wolf. So we're really gonna join this guy seems like why would they show him twice like this right on top of that and that's the episode on top of that like the beginning of the episode had this guy kind of shuffling around and this like huge like lineup of like um people trying to recruit we didn't they didn't show his face and like, obviously i'm sure everybody wants you know you to join amity's battle like i mean she did a fucking public stunt everybody's watching i mean it's like you better join or else right i mean like oh holy shit Holy shit, the Amity is extending an offer to Yudama, but Azaz kind of accepted the offer on behalf of Yudama. I think there was like a misunderstanding there. So maybe it's not going to happen just because of that. But also that kind of made everybody underplay the significance of Amity and Yudama there. I wonder if they're going to... Well, it's confusing because sometimes we want Yudama to pop off and there's scenes where he really does pop off. For example, the Cherry Blossom Tree summoning. For example, even just the dodgeball, but that was just within his own class. The guardian, I guess. Even like first day, like the first day, it was an entire pop pop for. But just the interaction between Amiri and Iruma right there I made mean, it seem like he's down, getting downplayed. Like you know, when like sometimes like there's series like One Punch Man where Saitama just continues to get downplayed because we can't show how OP he is, right? So we're getting a little bit of a balance between. Oh, Iruma is holy shit! Iruma is really amazing. But oh, I guess that was for Azaz instead. Um, maybe I'm looking too deep into things, right? There's many different values. I didn't realize that it's like um. Like a student council is this its own battler, I guess. Battler, battle. I don't even know. It's it's, it's written as battler. Uh, bat, bat. It sounds like a character from uh, what's that series? Uh, Umineko now, but I say battler. But the battler, the clubs. I'll just call it clubs, right? The guy with the same metal necklace as the glutton of Peter, and he even knew by name what that ring was. And I was wondering, does the ring? Like, because of the distinction between, oh, that's King Solomon's ring. And then, I think, um, Graham specifically, in specific, it's actually the Gluttonous Feeder ring. So that I kind of guessed, maybe there's multiple of these rings that's part of the King Solomon series. Turns out it's not really necessarily just ring. It could be a different, you know, different accessory. It's like a necklace instead. Maybe there's earrings. 
I, I don't know. But toe rings, maybe. But the material is the same. This guy must be super important. It's storing magic. It's storing... Well, maybe the only thing that's similar about... Maybe I'm looking too deep into things again. Maybe this necklace. We know that it's the same material. And we know that it has the same property of storing magic. So maybe it's not like a... Oh, it's another King Solomon line accessory. Probably nothing like that, maybe. But it's still the same type of metal as the Glenn Feeder Ring. That's huge, right? Again, there is this reiteration of ranks determine everything. Upperclassmen will get shit on by juniors because he's only a bet. I, the, they're, they're, they're very quick interactions, even in the previous episode where the girls kind of push Utama aside. Like, hey, actually he ranked up, he's bet now. He's like, oh, okay, I guess, okay, more respect. So rankings really do determine everything here. Even seniors will get shit on. That's why I guess Abzaz kind of has the authority to shit on everybody else if they get close to him. Magical item apparatus, but maybe this will help us learn more about the Glenn's feeder ring and maybe how to use it better. And Gramps even added extra gears on top of that, right? So I did I see that correctly? How many how many actually like um gears was there, right? So that's the weakest one, right? Devil mode, right? So there's devil mode, and then there's demon mode, then there's Ifrit mode, and then the last one is like Basically use everything. Even if it was kind of crazy, right? The last one. Devil mode alone, it should be enough. So it's Demon, Devil, Ifrit, and then the last one. Andorula. I thought Libera might itself be like a get out of jail card. Like get out of jail free card. Like in a, like a life or death situation in a serious arc later on. We have to do something. Everybody's down for the counts. Iduman realizes, oh, I got, I got this one spell. But now we have Pandorula. Well... Before in the dodgeball episode when we used Libera without anything like restraining our power, could you say that that's the same level of power as Pandarula? Or is Pandarula completely different? Because rather than like a... Well, is this the same gauge? Because he's saying... No, no, you have to say the word. You gotta say like... um, You, you gotta say the specific like, incantation for that gear to activate. So I guess Pandarula just means all out. It's just a, But it's a spell that unleashes all the magic at once. Extra special move. It's extra special move as in you can't just do Pandarula and then Libera. Or is Pandarula itself like a move in itself? We'll have to see. But this is getting interesting. Yuruma has a way to kind of partition the energy. We don't have to just go all out. The fucking all out anymore. We have, you know, the devil mode to work with. Demon, devil, fruit, right? Okay, okay. Gramps is like kind of fucking crazy. I just inscribing oh yeah there's just a little gears on your ring now you can just have different power stored in but okay we have a pretty good way to you know configure everything and not just blow everyone out of the water but that's the episode but if you stick around this long if you don't enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists in my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one helps you to push out my small channel to recommend it so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care